Hello my flying friend. Let's talk about cravats. This is something that can be very dangerous. It's also something that's pretty easy to fix. So let me show you how you get a cravat, how you fix it, and we'll look at some real life situations where it's actually happened. It can make a big difference to your flying safety. It's a very useful skill to have and it's pretty simple to work it out and to prepare yourself for it. All right, a cravat happens when the wind blows from the side of the wing and blows the wingtip in through the lines. So you've got your A lines here at the front of the glider. If you get a collapse or on launch, you have the wing where it's gone through behind this A line and then blown out in the wind. You get a cravatted corner like this which can be various shapes but the danger with this is it creates a cup on the wingtip which can pull you quite hard off to the side and it's also quite surprising in that if it's overhead you don't really notice the effect of it but as soon as the wing starts going over to the side it can suddenly turn you into a very very deep spiral dive so you've got to be very careful of this. When this happens, you want to disable this part of the wing. The simplest way to do that is to go inside of that cravatted area and pull a big ears basically on that side only. So if you collapse the wing down here and you fold it over, you end up with a, a shape that doesn't cut the wind so much. This is, the air can flow over this and it just flies forwards without turning you too much. That also gives you the chance that when you reinflate this it might open out that cravat a little bit. You can see already there it's in a better shape. I can now do another big ears, fold it over and then on the next one pump it out and you'll probably find that that will open out the cravat. If that doesn't work, say it's jammed in there You've tried that big ears and it's still stuck in there. You need your stabilo line. Your stabilo or stabilizer line. So one attached here on the wingtip stack. And it's usually a different color down on your riser. If you have a look, you've got your C's, your B's and your A's. Now each manufacturer is slightly different but usually it's sitting on the outside of your B riser and it's usually a different color. So in this case we've got a nice orange showing us which is a stabilo line. By pulling that you can pull this cravatted piece down below that line that's doing a line over like that and then the wind will just blow that out and open it up. There are two ways that the cravat can happen. The one is on the ground. If you don't build a wall properly before you pull the wing up, you might have a line over. In other words, this A line could be already running around behind the wing and you just didn't check this little piece when you were setting up and then you pull up like that and you've got a cravat already stuck in there. On the ground, easiest way to fix it is kill your wing straight away. If you see a cravat, put it back on the ground. Don't try and fix it in the air, just put your wing down. Because it's very dangerous on the ground, it can whip you across launch and it can whip you back into the slope if you launch like that. So just kill it straight away. If your feet are on the ground, just pull the back risers or the brakes, put the wing straight back down on the ground, fix a cravat much easier to do that. The other way that it could happen, well obviously you could fly off like that and then you'd have to fix that one. The other way is when the wing is ahead and to the side. So if you're flying in lots of turbulence you get a big strong climb out and then the wing dives forwards and to the side. What happens is that the air then pushes the wingtip in through the A lines like that from the side and then it jams in there. The way to stop that 
is to pull down on the brakes. Nice hard pull, no more than two seconds. I would just go one, two and up. When the glider pitches forward like that, whenever it dives ahead and you know it's off to the side, you want to be on the brakes straight away. You're not going to stall the wing by pulling for less than two seconds. But you can do a nice deep input and then come back up and that'll just it it pulls the trailing edge and it bends the wing out like that and it really prevents that tip driving itself in if it's a really monster cravat it's come through a long way into the glider before going back out it's going to be very difficult to fix that here you need to be extremely careful that you don't stall the glider because if you stall it this side is probably going to grab as, you, as it dives out of the stall and then it's going to spiral around really hard in this situation I would recommend flying down and landing as soon as you can just keeping it on a straight level course keeping your flying speed up and not doing a lot of a lot of brake input you know even if it's got a gentle turn baked into it you want to just leave it doing that till you get down on the ground and you can fix it I wouldn't recommend trying to stall to get a cravat out unless you're a highly experienced acro pilot you've done lots and lots of SIVs because the danger with stalling the wing bringing it really slowing it right down when it's got a cravat baked into it is you might not get the cravat out you might just stall your wing and if you stall it with a cravat in when you put your hands up to recover that glider is going to dive forward and be straight locked in spiral dive so I wouldn't recommend that, I'd try and keep it flying keep your flying speed up as much as you can and go for doing a collapse on that side to free the tension pumping it out and then looking for your stabilo line and trying to pull your stabilo line down and you can combine the two you could do a big ears on that side and then use the stabilo line to try and pull it through the unpressured fabric and then releasing that with the combination of those two you should be able to clear just about all of your cravats that you get one of my friends is up here on the top of Cayburn about to launch in very strong soaring conditions He's in a good position, not right in the crest where the Venturi is going to be really strong and you can pull up from there. It's got a little bit of a lip that it's going to slide across but it's a great position to fly from. Okay, he's got a, a cravat, a knot in his left wing tip so he's going to need to keep turning right to avoid that glider turning. I'll fly across to him, maybe help him a bit. He's doing very nicely, he's just flying the glider, not worrying about it, just keeping control, flying away from the problem area, and hopefully he can do a big ears on that side and let it out. If I get a bit closer to him, I can tell him to do that. You're doing the right thing, but you need a harder big ears. Yeah, just come out a bit. You can also try your Stabilo line. Yay! Okay, let's go fly. Woohoo! Cool. So that was exciting. Um, not what he was expecting, but that's one of those things that happens in flying in strong conditions. You pull up, if your wing's got a cravat in it and you let it go off like that, you end up in a bit of a tricky position, but you handle it really well just control the glider fly off the slope give yourself space and then try and fix the problem cool so I hope that helps you when you get stuck in that position with a wingtip folded in remember to just keep your course fly away from the slope don't fly right up into the lift 
and do a strong biggers on that side. Hopefully that'll clear it. If that doesn't, reach up for your stabilo line, pull it down until it's cleared. While you're doing that, keep your glider nice and level. Look where you're going. Keep control of your course. That's the most important thing. If you still can't fix it, fly down and land. You don't want to be um, flying around with a cravat in and then hit some turbulence because it can whip you into a spiral dive. So you want to sort that problem fairly sharpish, but most important, keep yourself safe. Watch where you're going. Cheers, hope that helped you. Okay, it's probably worth messing around with this sort of stuff on ground handling practice. So set your glider up, put in a deliberate cravat into the wingtip, pull it up and see if you can clear the cravat while on the ground, keeping the glider up. That's very good practice. It gives you an idea of how much pulling force there is in a cravat and what it's really like to get hold of your stabilo line and do a big ears on one side and then pull the stabilo line, messing around with that. Okay, it sounds a lot simpler than it is in practice. So it's well worth messing around with preparing yourself for your first cravat. So when it happens, you just think, oh yeah, cravat, yeah, and no, I know what to do with that. Pull in the big ears, pull in the stabilo line, keeping the glider nice and steady. Out you go, carry on flying. If you're enjoying these things, don't forget to subscribe. That way you get a notification. Like the video and share it with your mates. It really helps this channel grow. And if you want to support us, consider checking out gear on flybubble.com. That really helps us. Also, you can get behind the channel on Patreon. It'll be great to have you there as a subscriber. We get a lot of, uh, up to a lot of mischief and fun with filmmaking. See you there. Cheers.